Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with a video on some healthy hair tips on how to promote hair growth. If you'd like to hear what I got to say, just keep watching. Okay, so tip number one, eliminate heat. When you put heat on your hair, if you're using heat on your hair often, um, you are really drying your hair out and you are messing up your natural curl pattern. So eliminating heat is definitely going to be something that will help you in the long run. Heat is not your friend. It's not gonna promote any type of beautiful curls. It ain't gonna do none of that for you. Heat is not your friend. I had to throw away my straightener. I don't even use my blow dryer anymore. I just let my hair air dry now, but you don't want no heat touching your beautiful mane. You don't want that. So eliminate any direct heat to your hair. Tip number two, cut off your dead ends. Any split ends, any heat damage ends, relaxed ends, colored ends, whatever it is. If, you're, if you have scraggly ends, you'll want to cut those off because all it is is dead weight on your hair. You don't want to keep that. If you have two different types of textures on your hair, just get rid of it. Say bye. You don't need it. And when you do this, as your hair is growing in, it'll all be the same curl pattern. I know a lot of people don't like to do like mini chops or big chops or, you know, cutting their hair because they want to hold on to that length. But really, you're holding on to length, but you're also holding on to dead hair. And you don't want dead hair attached because it's going to be a lot harder for you to maintain styles and you're gonna end up doing a lot more work in the long run with trying to manage two different hair textures rather than just managing one. So cut them off. Tip number three, know your hair porosity. I actually just found out what my hair porosity was probably like a month ago. Your hair porosity basically tells you how much moisture your hair is able to retain on a daily basis. So when you do this hair porosity test, uh, you will want to get make sure you have a few of your hair strands that are clean. Um, I usually will just take like hair that has that's like left in my brush and I'll just wash that. Um, with some shampoo just to make sure it's clean. And you'll wanna put the hair strands in the cup, let it sit for about two to five minutes or so. And there's three types of um, hair processes you can have. There's low porosity, uh, there's medium to normal porosity, or, or high porosity hair. If your hair stays floating out the top, that means you have low porosity hair. And low porosity hair means that basically um, it's really hard for your hair to obtain moisture. I have low porosity hair, um, so my hair is really dry. If your hair floats to the middle, you have normal to medium porosity hair, which means your hair is just fine with retaining moisture. Um, and it's really not difficult to keep your hair moisturized. If your hair sinks all the way to the bottom, then that means that you have high porosity hair, which means that your hair is definitely able to retain moisture, but also releases the moisture. So you're not really able to retain it. Um, it's not like staying within your hair strand. So knowing your hair's porosity can really help dictate what products you use on your hair, um, how to care for your hair, what oils to use. Um, different routines to cater to um, your hair's porosity that will really help with developing a hair uh, a hair regimen that will best work for you. Tip number four: deep condition your hair. I used to only deep condition my hair about once a week, um, but now I do it twice a week at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week because I want to make sure that my hair is extremely moisturized and it's soft, and I really don't want my hair to be brittle or dry um, so I have to make sure that I'm keeping my hair moisturized and um, deep conditioning is a way that I do that it'll really help with keeping your hair nice and soft keeping it nice and moisturized and keeping your curls popping tip number five pre poo I love pre pooing my hair pre pooing is just like prepping your hair for shampooing it's like conditioning your hair it makes your hair soft it adds shine and it really helps with the detangling process I know that when I pre poo my hair um, I actually did a video and I posted it on Instagram if you guys want me to upload it here I can definitely do that um, but I section my hair into four sections and I pre poo my hair with oils I have a mixture of oils that I use I use my white tooth comb to um, detangle my hair and I let it I wrap it with a uh, shower cap let it sit for like 30 minutes under my I sit under my hooded dryer and once I do that my hair is ridiculously soft and it feels great and it's so much easier to manage and maintain when I'm trying to style um, pre pooing is your friend it definitely will add time to your wash day but trust me it's worth it. tip number six 
don't wash your hair every day. If you're washing your hair every day with shampoos, especially if they have like sulfates and whatnot in them, all you're doing is stripping your hair from its natural oils that it secretes on a daily basis. If you strip your hair, your hair is going to be dry. If your hair is dry, your hair is going to break off. So Usually as well, if your hair is dry, curls tend to be more frizzy. Um, it's a lot harder to manage your hair, manage any styles. Um, so do not shampoo your hair every day. When I shampoo my hair, I only shampoo my roots. Um, I try to make sure that I have a clean scalp. Having a clean scalp will allow my hair to be clean. My scalp's breathing. My scalp doesn't have any product buildup, so it's, it's a lot easier for my hair to grow. Tip number seven, I like to massage my scalp with oil. Massaging your scalp with oil really helps with increasing that blood circulation in your scalp. Increasing blood circulation means you're promoting hair growth um, because you're stimulating all the blood cells and all of your um, your little hair uh, hair pores or whatever you call it, they're, they're being stimulated. So it's, it's supposed to increase that blood flow and help your hair grow. I like to do this at night. Before I go to bed, I'll usually do it for like five minutes. Sometimes I'll do it with my fingers or I have like a scalp massager. Um, now I have one that vibrates and it's amazing. But you can definitely do that, incorporate some oil and just make sure that your scalp is just getting moisturized. Um, especially if you have a really dry scalp and you tend to experience like dandruff or excessive flavor things like that scalp massagers will really help tip number eight make sure you are keeping your hair moisturized all the time you can like sprint your hair with water and you know if you want to use conditioner um, a lot of people I've seen use like water and like aloe vera juice I haven't tried that yet um, but I've heard that that really works. keeping your hair moisturized helps with maintaining your length as well tip number nine detangle with a wide tooth comb or your fingers. This is going to help with preventing excessive breakage. You'll also want to make sure that when you do detangle your hair, your hair is like at least damp. You don't want to detangle your hair when it's dry because you're really going to pull out and rip out hair that probably would still be there if your hair was just a little bit damp. So make sure that you're detangling your hair with a wide tooth comb or your fingers. It's also a lot more gentle on your hair and you can feel where the tangles are um, rather than the, the brush just ripping out your hair. Tip number 10, wrap your hair at night with a satin scarf, a satin bonnet, or you can even sleep on a satin pillowcase. Protecting your hair at night is going to help with, with breakage and it helps with maintaining your hairstyles. It helps keep your curls fresh and keeps your curls moisturized. Um, if you're sleeping on a cotton pillowcase, um, the material can your hair can get caught in the material and it can rip hair strands off of your off your head. And as time goes on, the more that you're doing that, the more you're going to see that your hair is breaking off. You're probably causing split ends because your hair is breaking in different places and you don't need that. Tip number 11, incorporate a lot of low manipulation or protective hairstyles. The more that you're always trying to fidget with your hair, the more your hair is prone to break off um, because you're straining it so much. You're pulling it, you're brushing it. You know, you're just doing too much. A lot of styles that you can do that are um, considered protective styles, you can um, do braid outs, twist outs, do perm rod sets, flexi rods. Um, you can get braids if you want. My hair just got really healthy over time because I wasn't touching my hair. It was protected from like the environment, all the weather and um, things like that. Protective styles are your best friend. Tip number 12, be patient with your hair. I know that a lot of people get really anxious and excited about hair growth and you know, they're like, oh, I'm doing this. Okay, like a week later, is my hair growing? Is it growing yet? Let me let me see. Let me let me let me see. Let me see if I can. My hair's not growing. Oh, it's not working. I'm just gonna stop. You don't want to do that. You have to be patient with your hair. The more patient you are, the more that you tend to it and you give it that love and affection that it needs, it will grow. It may not be at the rate that you want it to grow, but trust me, your hair will grow if you are taking care of it and you are patient with it and you are making sure that you are protecting it. And then I have one more tip. Um, I thought I'd just throw in. Drink a lot of water. And also a healthy diet really helps with hair growth. Um, all of the, the nutrients that are in like vegetables, um, like your proteins, um, and even just water, obviously our body needs water. Incorporating nutrients that your body needs to function, those will also aid hair growth. 
So those are my healthy hair tips that I have for promoting hair growth and length retention that worked for me in my hair journey. If you have any questions, um, please don't forget to comment below. And if you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.